So a visual check of the board is where we're going to find 90% of the issues. Uh, so there's a really good chance that you are going to find the issue with your build on this step. Uh, I'm going to go in order of the most common issues we see, starting with integrated circuits. So these black rectangular things are integrated circuits. Uh, the most common issue with them is that they're in the wrong place. So you might have several different ICs in your build with different names. So make sure to check the names on the body against what you see on the circuit board or in the assembly guide, etc. cetera. Uh, the other issue we often see is that these are reversed polarity. Um, so ICs will always have either a dot like this has or a notch like this has to indicate the top of the IC. The top meaning where pin one is. Um, and so check the for a dot or a notch on the board itself to show you uh, which way you should orient that. So orient the notch on the IC, notch or dot to the notch on the board. Uh, and then finally, sometimes these pins can get uh, that don't make contact perfectly with every pin of the socket. So just go through, make sure each pin is making good contact, none of them are sticking up, etc. The second most common error we see is with uh, resistors. Now these just have these little color bands to tell you which is which. It's very easy to get these mixed up. Especially look out for ones that are the same base number with a different decade. So for example, 47 ohms and 470 ohms look very similar. They just have one band different. And unfortunately, there is no way to check these besides visually checking each band against the bill of materials, the sorting sheet, whatever. Um, we have a useful resistor calculator on our website where you can just put in the value or the colors and it will tell you uh, what the other one is. Uh, I'll put a link to that below, but really you just need to go through by eye and check all of them. You can't check it with a meter uh, because once resistors are in the circuit, they're going to measure differently. So trying to check them with a meter could really throw you off. Okay, number three most common issue is film capacitor values. I should say non-polarized capacitor values. Those could be film like this box here, these boxes, or cer uh, ceramic like these little yellow dots. They have a value printed either on top or on the side. Check those values against the sorting sheet, the manual, whatever, uh, and just make sure they're all correct. Uh, that can mess you up. And then number four, electrolytic capacitor polarity. So as you saw in the manual, electrolytic caps have to be inserted a certain way. Make sure that the stripe showing the negative side is on the opposite uh, di direction from the plus. So each of these has a plus on the circuit board showing the positive lead, and each capacitor has a line on the side showing the negative lead. Uh, pro tip, in all of our kits at least, all of these will face the same direction. Um, okay, and then number five, diode polarity. Diodes are these little resistor sized things, but unlike resistors, they have a polarity. Check, there's a, usually a black or white band and check that against the band on the circuit board for the polarity. And then LED polarity. This, is, this one will mess people up because it's once you've trimmed the leads and soldered it in, it's a little bit harder to see what the correct polarity is. And there inside the LED, there are two little metal things. And the bigger one is the negative lead. So make sure that if you see the plus on the board, the bigger metal thing on the inside should be in the other pad. And finally, transistor position and polarity. Transistors can look like this or like this. Those are the two most typical shapes in a DIY product. Um, check the values printed on them against the board. Check the polarity, uh, usually the shape of the transistor is what shows the polarity, so check that against the board. Um, and then, you know, 
If you still haven't found any issues, great. Let's move on and look at the soldering and stuff. But really take your time with this step. I can't emphasize enough that most people find what's wrong with their builds in this step. And often it's after doing everything else, coming back to this a second or a third time with really fresh eyes and then seeing something. So, um, you know, don't be too proud to spend a lot of time on this step.